Hello friends, hello nice the vineyard, hello family, what a blessing to see you for devotions again. Today I want to talk about the fact that God wants you to reap a bountiful harvest. Let's read out of 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6. This scripture says, But this I say, he which sows sparingly shall also reap sparingly, and he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. You see, God's heart is for us to reap bountifully to reap a bountiful harvest but how do we do that it says you're by sowing abundantly sowing out of an abundant heart and you know so many people sow into the kingdom but in their hearts they feel poor and they feel like they're giving out their last money whereas God didn't make us poor he made us rich on the cross and because our hearts are liberated and we are rich in our hearts, therefore we have the ability, the grace to be givers. And you know, this is so amazing that Paul stops here in the middle of uh, a lot of practical things that he's talking to this church in Corinth about. And then suddenly he just says, but this I say. It's almost like in Afrikaans people say, but this I say. He which sows sparingly will reap sparingly, but he which sows bountifully will also have a bountiful harvest. I remember on my farm, I was walking in a wheat field once. And as I was walking through this wheat field, I put my arms out to the sides and the harvest was so bountiful that my hands touched the wheat being this high. I had a wonderful crop on my farm that, that year. And the Lord spoke to me while I was in that field and said to me, Alfred, I know it's difficult to persuade your heart of my provision, but once you are in it, it's just as difficult to get out. And so I've realized when we liberate our hearts in the area of finances, God also starts watering us. In Proverbs 11 verse 25, it speaks about that the bountiful soul or the prosperous soul will be made fat and he that waters will also be watered himself. And so we need to have generous souls. So let's get our hearts off the thing that we need to do something to get. And let's get our hearts on the bountiful harvest that the kingdom soil provides as we sow into it. Yes, there's a bountiful harvest that God's got for you. And I just want to encourage you, sow with a liberated bountiful heart. And you will see the bountiful liberated kingdom produced back to you. You are highly favored and deeply loved of God.